Let's talk about your uh, final op optimization problem. That's like the final programming project uh, that you need to submit. Um, should be a pretty fun one. Uh, I I'll introduce the project here, and if you have questions, we can discuss it during our, you know, Zoom hours, and then I can give you some hints if you don't know how to approach it. So. Basically, we want to optimize the trust, and then this trust, so that we all know what we're talking about, please set it up like this. So basically, you got node number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 7 node trust. Then I want you to uh, order your element by 1, 2, 3, yeah, the, the circles in here, so that later you run into problem, I say element 11, everybody know what it is, okay. So in this trust, if you look at it, I got everything um, pretty much given to you, uh, like the location of all the nodes. But uh, here's a trick for node number six and seven. Uh, I only give you the horizontal coordinates, so they have to stay in those vertical lines. But uh, like where they are, like the y six and y seven, uh, yeah, they're they're able to move up and down and all that um, you know that's where you want to optimize so you have the E A and boundary condition is uh, you know fixed the two degree of freedom they're all fixed at 1 and 5 um, and then the loading condition is uh, a little bit uh, you know normal but unsymmetric uh, we got 20 kips here, 35 kips here, and 15 kips here. So this pretty much tells you the optimal solutions probably not going to be like Y6 and Y7 is probably not going to be on the same level. Um, you know, the drawing here uh, looks like a 7 is down, 6 is up. It does not have to be that, right? Um, I'm just saying that those may be different numbers and then you could find like sevens up and six is down. You know, who knows? Um, so the, uh, all the nodes, uh, all the nodes, uh, like they are applied at the same time. We, yeah, there are no multiple load cases. Just, just add all those three nodes on your trust, then it will deflect. Then we'll try to optimize, okay? So what's the requirement? Uh, not, long story short, uh, optimization and design is always uh, like a, a check and balance. So what, what you need to do is that you need to find the deflection, uh, which is the vertical only, uh, what we call it deflection, at node 2, 3, and 4. So basically you, you, you want to, yeah, I don't care about how other nodes move, just three, two, three, four, those three nodes, they will deflect. I want to know how much they deflect. And then we call it delta 2, delta 3, delta 4. Then at the same time, um, because you can move this back and forth, uh, you're going to change the length of those uh, um, members. You know, like for, 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 for those members, it's already given, uh, their length will not change, but by moving 6 and 7, you're going to change the lens. If you change the lens, and if I fix the area, uh, your total volume of your steel is going to change. So we, we say, okay, let's, let's assume <coughs> it's $2 per pound for steel material. And the density, let's use 500 pounds per cubic feet. Well, there's some unit conversion here. I have to see your work just be very careful okay and then once you get a design together you can calculate all the lengths and times the area get the get the volume and get the uh, pound times two that will be your uh, total cost C okay then what you want to optimize is that uh, you add those three deltas two three four you add them together uh, and I will say, you know, get them in inches, okay? Um, then you got the total cost. You time them together. 
I want this uh, entire result, we call it S. It should be in the unit of inch and dollar. I need to specify this because, you know, some people, they'll, uh, maybe they, they'll, they'll send me something that's like a, uh, you know, a feet and a uh, hundred dollar. Yeah, that doesn't work. So that everybody is the same page. Do those guys in inches, do this one in dollar. And then this value, this S value, uh, you want to find them the smallest possible. Uh, and at the same time, you there's some other constraints, like this is piece of steel, right? So steel material, you can't go forever. Uh, so you need to do a check. Anything that is valid to do this, uh, your stress at any bar cannot be exceeding 50 KSI. Uh, that's a you know standard steel yielding, um, so don't exceed that. Um, th this practice, or you can say, it's final test or um, project, really signifies um, how important or how beneficial is that to have your own program. Imagine you have to set this up in Robot or any other program like uh, you know Revit or like Risa 3D or whatever, and they have like tried so many times. But with your program, if you do a little MATLAB programming and you know what you're doing, uh, you can solve this thing very very easily. Um, then what you need to submit uh, as a, a report. So basically the, the, the thing you finally need to submit to me by the end of this semester uh, will be a report that the you know first page you will describe how you are you know tackling this. You can you know just describe your procedure, how you're gonna do it and like what you did. Just a description of like how you came up into your final optimized solution. Then you want to have a section where say, okay, this is my optimized uh, y6 and y7 values, and then this is the s value I'm going to get. Then once you did that, uh, then the next section will be just using those and do an analysis and uh, report your result. Uh, I wanted the uh, uh, deltas, I wanted the uh, element table, I want you know, a deflected shape, but all that type of stuff, you know, just like you normally will do. Uh, to, to make things a little bit fun, I'm gonna, you know, uh, give this as a, um, I'm gonna grade this, you know, yeah, you, you're all gonna get a base grade if you put enough effort into it. Yeah, you, you, you get a passing grade, yeah, no problem for this one. But uh, there's gonna be some like a quality points I'm gonna assign because um, yeah, now we have you know a student in class. Uh, likely, I'm gonna get uh, um, eight different S values, uh, assuming they're all correct. I mean, you, you if if I uh, if I found that you violated any of the rules, like uh, yeah, you, you gave me a value that's very small, but uh, I found out, uh, gee, your stresses, uh, some of the members are greater than this. I'll put you on the bottom, okay, uh, immediately. Uh, then, if you didn't write any rules, everybody got a good S, and all the cases are valid, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rank order S, then give a higher score to the, the, the people who get the smallest S. Then I'm going to rank order that up. But, you know, those are bonus points. We can talk about that later, but this is just for fun and incentive for you to actually get smaller s while satisfying all the requirements okay that's uh, it you know, hopefully you'll have fun and we can talk about it i'll i don't mind give you some hints but uh, uh, this is your final problem in this class